I want to thank all our volunteers and Andrew. Congratulations on the award that we had a few years ago. That's awesome. How many divers do we have in the room? How many divers? How many scuba divers? Okay, for the rest of you, we can remedy that. At 11 o'clock in the Ocean Theater, I want you all to come in and see what we do. It's not about scuba diving, believe it or not. It's about having people of all abilities imagine the possibilities in their life and we use zero gravity to do that. So Andrew, we get Andrew out of a chair and we get him standing vertically underwater, maybe for the first time since his injury, and all of a sudden he goes, wow, if I can scuba dive, what else can I do? And he goes on to take on other challenges. Now Andrew takes on all the challenges of the world already. But Dive Heart is a nonprofit. We help children, adults, and veterans with disabilities imagine the possibilities in their life. We do research with university medical centers. At 11 o'clock, we're going to have Lenny, who's on a ventilator, and um, we're going to talk about how we're going to take the, the, the very first ventilator diver deep underwater and how we're working with Northwestern University engineers and uh, respirator companies and everything. Andrew has tried this with us before with Triumph. Andrew, what do you think of diving? It was so freeing. I mean, uh, I've been injured for 12 years, and I felt like the first time I got to swim was when I got to scuba dive and be in the water and be free. And it was uh, so therapeutic, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, just empowering. And uh, I love it. I can't wait to get wet again. So every chance I get to go out with Dive Heart, I take advantage of it. And I want to encourage you guys to do the same. And hopefully next year, everybody will raise their hands because it's one of the best experiences you can imagine. Freedom is a common theme, guys, and, and it's a great way for people of all abilities to experience that. And it's not about diving, it's about taking the unrealized human potential that exists. And Patricia's a diver, too. Miss California, she's going to be diving with us. So, thank you for that. How are we doing on time? Okay, what's well, going to happen now, folks, is we're going to start a video. We're going to show you dive part. Then you're going to see a Penguins video after that. And right before straight up ability happens, I'm going to tell you a little about this gentleman here. He's going to be receiving our Heritage Award at 11.45. So after you watch the, uh, the program with Dive Art, come out here and watch the ceremony. We're going we're gonna to do a, a great uh, award to, to, to thank this gentleman right here for all the work he's done for the disability community. Okay, let's see that uh, video. We ready to roll? Pacific, and I want to thank you for joining us today for our 14th annual Festival of Human Abilities. It's our celebration highlighting the creative talents and abilities of people with disabilities. And each year at the Festival of Human Abilities, the aquarium honors an individual or an organization within the community for outstanding community service and for promoting awareness. This year, the aquarium is honored to present the Glenn McIntyre Heritage Award to Andrew Skinner. suffered a spinal cord injury while snowboarding in 2004 that left him paralyzed with quadriplegia. As he recovered, Andrew wanted to give back to others who had suffered an injury like his. So in 2008, he and his wife Kirsten started Triumph Foundation, a nonprofit organization whose mission is to help individuals with spinal cord injuries, also known as SCI. Triumph Foundation provides resources, hope, and security as a lifelong support network for people living with paralysis. The cornerstone of the Foundation's outreach is giving newly injured people care baskets that serve as a toolkit, providing information about SCI support, excuse me, organizations, assistance programs, and activities. The Triumph Foundation has three main programs, one, the newly injured support program provides care baskets, mentorship, and support groups. Two, the grants and equipment program provides financial assistance to access necessary equipment and services and helps people get, plan home modifications for wheelchair accessibility. And three, the adaptive recreation program provides fitness and sports events and opportunities to participate in athletic teams, clinics, and tournaments. To date, Triumph Foundation has touched the lives of over 5,000 individuals with disabilities.
also has given $150,000 in assistance to people with inadequate medical insurance and financial hardship, has performed 10 accessible home remodels, has provided wheelchair accessible vehicles to five people who did not have the means to purchase one on their own, handed out more than a thousand care baskets and regularly visits 15 Southern California hospitals and rehabilitation centers. The Triumph Foundation also works to educate the general population about people living with disabilities, inclusiveness, and guidance on dealing with life's challenges. Andrew, on behalf of all of us here at the Aquarium of the Pacific, I want to thank you for the positive impact you had on the lives of people with disabilities and for your advocacy on behalf of this community. And now, yeah. and now I'm going to show you this beautiful commemorative plaque. Let's hear from you. Thank you. First of all, I'm really honored uh, to receive the Glenn uh, McIntyre Heritage Award. Uh, it's always really humbling to get recognition. Um, when I became paralyzed 12 years ago, you know, I was suddenly submerged into a community that I never dreamed I'd become a part of, uh, the disabled community. And I was really support, uh, fortunate that I had the support of uh, my family and friends, and I had people that had gotten injured um, before me that came in and gave me hope and resources and helped me put my life back together. And uh, I always felt like a sense to pay that forward and help out other people uh, the same way that I was uh, helped that didn't have the support network. And so in 2008, I started recognizing that there were a lot of unmet needs out there in the disabled community and I decided to start Triumph Foundation to try to fill in some of those gaps. And so Triumph provides resources, hope, and security to people, not just initially when they get injured, but as a lifelong support network. And um, I just want to acknowledge all the people that really deserve most of the credit for Triumph Foundation, and that's my wife, Kirsten, my mom and dad, my grandparents, all of our sponsors, all of our volunteers, all of our community partners, Five Bar over there, you guys are awesome. There's many more, um, and then most importantly, our ambassadors. I mean, most of these guys sitting in the row, we're um, we're a movement, guys. Uh, we just want to help people make the most out of life, regardless of what trial they go through. And you know, when I started this nonprofit, um, I didn't have a rich uncle or some big financial backer. Um, I don't have any superhuman strengths. I'm just a regular guy. And so I want to encourage you that you can do this too. You don't need to have some special uh, niche or anything like that. You just have to have a heart for other people. And um, you know, we are a grassroots, high impact, nonprofit organization that makes quality of life a reality. And uh, I want to encourage everybody that, you know, this disabled population is enormous. We are here and we matter. Uh, there's over 50 million Americans that have a disability, and that doesn't include their support system. Because it's not just the person who has the disability, it's their mom and dad, it's their friends and family, it's everybody around them that's affected by it. And um, you know, we represent every age, every constituency, every race, every religion, every group. And um, you know, I always joke that you know we're the club that no one wants to join, but once you're in, you're family. And uh, Triumph Foundation wants to be a vehicle to help you guys make a positive impact out there. And uh, you know, I know that the Festival of Human Abilities is a huge event for our community. So I want to thank you, Kathy. And I want to thank you, Peter. And I also want to give a special shout out to a guy that's normally here every year, my best, one of my best buddies. Ernie Espinoza, he's a pillar in our community. He's not here today because he got in a horrible car accident a few months ago. And so I want to send love and prayers to all his families. I know all of you guys know him, but he's a big part of this event every year. And so much love to them. And uh, 
you know, this award really means a lot to me because of the namesake, Glenn McIntyre. I mean, for those who don't know, Glenn was a tireless advocate for disability rights. He was a pioneer helping with the, the passage of the American Disabilities Act. Uh, he worked to educate people across the board about diversity issues. And uh, to receive an award in his name means a, a whole lot. And so he unfortunately passed away in 2010, um, but his legacy lives on. And so to his wife, Amy, I don't know where she went, but I will be a careful steward of his legacy and uh, just try to empower others and um, try to live up to what this award means. And, and thank you guys to the Festival of Human Abilities for everything that you guys do. Thank you, Andrew, and for all your supporters. And thanks all of you for coming down and go on and enjoy the rest of your Festival of Human Abilities.